Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Mark Shea here, and we got a special edition of Exploring Australia. Get ready, check it out! Rev it up, pay the toll, following the wild line to free our soul. The UHS-125, we got a combo. Yeah guys, so we got the call from Pete Rush, from Peter Rush, <laughs> um, and his sculpture that we found him making is completed. So we got the phone call, so we're coming down to check it out. Thought you'd be really interested, so have a look. You got it finished? <laughs> yep, it's finished. That's it. So Vanessa was saying that you were going to take it down in a week. Just worried about it? You know, like, it's not made to last. And it's, it's too big to just leave. Basically, I was just saying, I think I need to supervise all this too. <laughs> Yeah, but it's, uh, it's solid as, but a week from now things will start drying, I go, ah, let's give it a week, get all the photos. Yeah. And, uh, and you never know, I might make something else with the bits. Something, you know, make something, take all that stuff and make something else here. Yeah, so as you saw from my last video, um, the, the whole scavenger hunt, we actually ran into Pete Rush, sculptor, that's his Instagram, actually check him out. Uh, the actual artist who's behind all these, and he swore us the secrecy for where this one is, and there was a couple clues that he probably gave it away anyway, but um, we tried to keep it as hush-hush as possible. Of course, other people stumbled across it after us. Um, but he invited us back when it was done. We were, that's what we were waiting for. So we've come running down here, and I'm sure you'll see where we are at by the footage. Um, it is a monster and an amazing sculpture. Uh, this time I haven't officially had an interview with him, uh, but we got to talk to him, which is awesome. Uh, this is only gonna be up for a week. It, it is Sunday, uh, Saturday the 7th of November. He's only leaving this up because it's so big and because these sculptures get damaged by the weather. Um, I'm trying to keep you out of the wind, so that's why I'm sort of like shifting around, trying to have the wind at my back, so hopefully it's protecting the camera a bit. But um, with wind and rain, because we've had a lot of afternoon storms here lately, so he's only leaving up for a week because as it degrades, it, it is a big sculpture. He's worried that it could become unsafe. So he's keeping an eye on it um, and then he's going to take it down so I'm trying to rush this video through so you can see it and so you got a chance to get down here and see it before it's gone um, yeah it's absolutely unreal so I'm gonna show you a bit more of it
start going back. Uh, while we got to talk to Pete Rush, he decided that he's going to try and salvage the wombat and fix it up because the locals really enjoy it. Sorry if it's windy, but I just thought you might like to see some footage of the sculptor at work. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a hundred scully dispersion, nothing under it. I thought I was going to pull it up and it's going to be... Oh, so the mud and all that swept underneath it yeah, and it's wiped it? Well, we just got news that the wombat cannot be saved, so it's going to stand there until the elements take it. If you want to see it, you better get down and see it while it is still can. Well, while we were out, Checking out Pete Rush's latest sculpture, we thought we'd come over and just see the monkey while the tide was a bit lower. The monkey at Long Jetty. So, he's also going to be coming and taking this one. You know, it, it did get a little leaned over and he put the hand up, put the hand, little peace sign there. But now that it's falling over a bit more, he said he's been thinking about coming and taking this one down too, so if you want to see it, you better get out here soon. Yeah guys, also like normal, if you like this video, hit like, um, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. Make sure you give Conceptual Creative some love because they help me get out and about and do all this sort of stuff. Um, you know, they do web hosting, web management, web design, the whole lot. So if you need something that has to do with the internet, and uh, websites, they're your people. <laughs> okay guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'm Mark Shea, this is Exploring Australia. See ya!